Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to use the, this graphic organizer to be able to factor uh, fractions. So this is, breaks it down to a very simple task. You will need a calculator though. So the first thing we'll do, let's say that we've got a fraction of 48, oh gosh, what was that? 48 50 fourths, okay? So we've got 58, 48 50 fourths. What we're gonna do is take our numerator and write it up here, 48. Then we're gonna take our denominator, 54, okay? Now the first thing we wanna do is find out does the numerator divide evenly into the denominator? So we'll go to our calculator and take 54 divided by 48. And with that, we get a decimal answer. And since it's a decimal answer, we're just gonna skip that because um, we're looking for whole numbers here, really. So now we're gonna go ahead and it doesn't matter which side you start with, but once you start with it, you're gonna uh, continue with that. So let's go ahead and start with 48. I'm gonna go with the numerator here. So I'm gonna take 48 divided by, and I'm gonna start all the way down here at the bottom, divided by nine. So 48 divided by nine gives me, up. Oh, it's not a whole number, it's a decimal. So I'm gonna cross out nine. Then I'm gonna go 48 on my calculator divided by eight. Oh, it's six, so that is a whole number, so I'm gonna circle it. And now because this I know goes into 48, now I'm gonna to check to see if 54 can be evenly divided by eight, if eight can go evenly into 54. So 54 divided by eight equals, nope, it's a decimal. So I'm gonna cross that out and then go back up here. What I'm looking for is for two, two numbers side by side that both go into this number. So let's take seven. 48 divided by seven equals, oh, it's a decimal, so I'm gonna cross that out. 48 divided by six equals eight. So I'm gonna circle that. Now I'm gonna come over, and again, let's see if 54 can be evenly divided by six. So 54 divided by six equals nine, yes. So that is what it is. Now, one thing we're gonna do, since I know that 54 divided by six is nine, I'm going to write 9 here. And since I know that 48, when I did that, divided by 6 equals 8. So now, that's pretty much my fraction. So, I'm sorry. Yeah, 48 divided by 6 is 8. So that's... I think, remember, this is my numerator, so this becomes my new numerator. And since this was my denominator, this becomes my new denominator. So now the simplified fraction of 48 54 becomes 8 ninths. All right, let's try another one. We'll go back here to Ecosia and let's pick another hard fraction. Let's do 21 35ths. So let's change this back here. 21 35ths, all right, so 21 35ths. So I'm gonna take my numerator, 21, put it up here, and my denominator, 35ths, put it here, okay? Now, all I do is start again down here at the bottom. Why am I starting at the bottom? Because I'm looking for the greatest common factor, or GCF. I, I'm not interested, like if two went into both of these, I'm not interested in that. I want to find out which is the biggest common number. So that's why I'm starting at the bottom. So see, 21 divided by 9 equals, nope. 21 divided by 8 equals, nope. 21 divided by 7 equals, ah, it's 3. I'm going to circle that and write 3 here, okay? Now I'm going to jump over to 35 because I want to see if 7 also goes into 35. So we take 35 divided by 7 equals 5. Boom! So 7 is my greatest common factor. And now I know that 21 
becomes three, so that's my new numerator, three, and the denominator, 35, becomes five. So my fraction, simplified fraction of 21 35ths is three fifths. All right, go ahead. Now, the nice thing here, you don't always have to have this graphic organizer. You can just write it yourself and do it that way, or you can print one of these up. Thanks, you guys.